Hello and welcome back to Sarasi Plays Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. Where we last left off, we had been grinding the hell out of our team, and now everyone is more or less at the level they need to be in order to get through this gym. Uh, hmm. You know what? That egg is making me nervous. It's not useful in this party. We might d wipe at this gym, and I might need something to sacrifice. <laughs> so let's go to the Poke Center and figure out who we want as the backup. Just in case things go to hell. We'll come back and get you soon, baby. Come on. Oh, it doesn't go upside down. Okay. Who do we want to be the... Who is me? <laughs> Honestly, that would probably be the easiest sacrifice, because Unknown is so garbage. Yeah... But Ricky Tiki Tabby could take something. Yeah. I don't know. Egg McMuffin's at a decent level. Mm hmm. But I don't want to lose Egg McMuffin. What, what, if my team wipes, then what's, what's it matter? Okay. Veritas is probably the best one to. I'm going to have Egg McMuffin. Okay. Not as a snack, just. <laughs> yeah, see what I did there? That was a pun yeah. because that's a food you can buy at McDonald's, which is not the kind of food that I like to eat. <laughs> You know what? Maybe that's not the best idea. Maybe you can just go further back in the party. Um. Yeah, fuck it. Stone of Bro in front. Mm. No, I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> what do I do? Stone of Bro probably makes the most sense for the gym. Yeah, but what if I want the others to level up too? And Stone of Bro can switch into things that others can't. Well. I think I'll have Cinders in front. Maybe for the, the trainers, yeah. but for actual Whitney. We'll, we'll test the grounds. Oh. The waters, uh, whatever, mm -hmm. by putting cinders there first. Wow, you always go the wrong way. <laughs> oh, by the way, I realized that there's a bike here that I haven't gotten. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. I'll have to do that soon. All right, here's the motherfucking gym. Yo, champ in the banking! This gym is home to normal type Pokemon trainers. I'd recommend you use fighting type Pokemon. Well, mm, that's not gonna work. There's really not any at this point of the game, so thanks, but no thanks. Right? You're gonna uh, ambush me over here, aren't you? Yep, it's a, it, It's like, haha, I found the sneaky way. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Give it your best shot, or I'll take you down. That's kind of hot. <laughs> so this is Beauty Samantha. Aw. It's a meow. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. That's a pretty good sprite. Right? All right, Cinders, burn it to ashes. <laughs> Die! Burn! Burn! Fucking burn! <laughs> wow, that was not as strong as I was hoping it would be. It is only 40 power, so... Hmm. True. But it is also pill lava, so... True. Oh, what if I spend the first few turns of rollout defense curling? That's an idea. Ah. Eh. <laughs> Better off magnituding or rock sliding? Probably. Probably magnitude, actually, in the off chance we get a good one. I'd say so. I'll say. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of a certain YouTube series that you might have just recognized in that, uh, <laughs> word I just used. <laughs> there we go. So, Burned to cinders. You know in the Pokemon anime that Meowth sacrifices all four of its moves? Oh no, Meowth, I'm talk? sorry! Oh, we just got a shit ton of money from her. Mm -hmm. We could buy more healing items with that. Sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wait, wait. Does Milk Tank know any moves that can boost its attack? I don't believe so. It can just heal its ass? I will just check the Pokédex. Hello, trainer see. woman. Oh, you are a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. All right, Beauty Victoria. Not Victoria's Secret. <laughs> That's what they're referencing. That's cute. Mm -hmm. All right, Cinders, burn it to Cinders. The things that I would worry about is this Miltank knows Attract. I don't, what does that do? That makes it, if it's a Pokemon of an opposite gender. That's female? That it makes it like a one in three chance of actually succeeding the attack. Ooh. So Cinders would be screwed. Cinders would be screwed. I think almost all my Pokemon are male, actually. Yes. Except for 
Uh, <laughs> yep. These Pokemon are way weaker than I thought they would be. Mm -hmm. So we just have to hope not for an attract. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure uh, Stone of Bro's defense is high enough to take Roll out. Mm-hmm. And it won't be that effective. Hey, this one jumped up to level 17. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can't take Aha! Suck on that, motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. It missed. Very good, Cinders. You get a cookie. All right, now you can take a break while we level up Stoner Bro. Mm -hmm. Oops, it's over. <laughs> Just like sex. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, you must be good to beat me. Keep it up. I intend to. You lost to a 10-year-old. Congratulations. Yup. I don't know how old Crystal is. Well, I assume that's her name. Yeah. Assuming from the other games... If it's, or... if it's the same as the other games, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one's sneaky. Mm -hmm. Don't let my Pokemon's cute looks fool you. <laughs> they can whip you. You know who else can whip you? Teeth. <laughs> that sounds a little bit kinky. Oh, this is a lass. Mm -hmm. Lass carry. Doesn't sound like she's a good girl. She'll never. Oh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that's a BDSM joke, guys. Yes, it is. All right, stoner bro. Beat it into a pummel. Oh, come on! Attack sharply. Oh, well, that's no good. Just magnitude it to shit. So, since charm can affect every Pokemon, do you think Pokemon are just really good at receiving compliments from other Pokemon? Or, like, romantic gestures from other Pokemon? Maybe? Like, regardless of their gender? I would say, oh, magnitude 10. Um, I'd say all Pokemon are pansexual. But I like it. They're all, they're all um, hetero romantic, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because um, apparently all Pokemon have sex with every Pokemon they can find in the um, breeder, mm -hmm. in the daycare, but only the ones who are um, genetically compatible can reproduce. Mm -hmm. So what's happening is all the all the ones that are shared gen genetic material... Do <laughs> my Pokemon think I'm cute? That's a little bit creepy, little kid. That's like a lot creepy. It's like, why are you worried about your monsters? Wow, she... Really? Let me go. Wow, really? Look at this. Let's set you up for double battle? No, that's that's the gym leader. Oh, that is the gym leader. And there are no right. double battles in this gen. Forgot that's hard. I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon. But I have cute, strong and cute Pokemon. <laughs> that's how I play the game. Mm -hmm. Except for in a Nuzlocke, where I don't have a choice. Well, there's some choice, but generally speaking, you don't mm -hmm. have much to work with. Tootlepuff! Tootlepuff! Oh. Jigglypuff's okay, but it's certainly not a strong Pokemon. I would say so. Magnitude 8. Wigglytuff's okay. Little, little taff. Look at that shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, so close. Okay, I'm gonna get through it at the end. More Jigglypuffs? Really? Okay. I feel like more crime organizations should have Jigglypuffs. Right? You can put people to sleep in the bank and steal all the money. Mm hmm. And Jigglypuff can draw all over the, uh, the, what's it called? Security cameras. Mm -hmm. Those things. Yep, with Sharpies. Yeah, I love that part of Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. <laughs> Level 20 Stoner Bro should be able to take out this gem. Yep. If not, we're fucked. I didn't decide whether Rock Throw or Magnitude. Rock Throw might actually be better than Magnitude at this point. Something because mm -hmm. it's more consistent. So Rock Throw's gonna do a consistent 50. But yeah. I think Magnitude, while well, it will average It's like 50. 10 times whatever number it is, or is that higher? Yeah, it's 10 times whatever number it is. Oh no, so, no, no! So I think you'll have a better chance of some variance getting I'm higher. I'm trying to beat Whitney, but it's depressing. I'm okay. If I lose, I'll just try harder next time. So uh -huh. I'm going to be a wimpy wimp and zip out of here and heal before I fight the gym leader. Yay! Mm -hmm. a smart strategy. Another reason why magnitude might be better is that rock throw has a 90% accuracy. Oh, right. magnitude has 100% accuracy. It's, it's like baby earthquake. Mm -hmm. It's like maybe earthquake. Because yes. You, what is the percent chance, though? I think it's a lot higher. 
to get uh, weaker magnitudes, right? No, I think it's or is, it, or is it a bell curve? I would think so. Mm -hmm. Consult the Pokedex. And you have a 30% chance of a 7, a 20% chance of a 6, a 20% chance of an 8, a 10% chance of a 5, a 5% chance of a 4, a 5 of a 10, and a 10 of 9. So it is a bell curve. Yes. With 7 being the, the average. average power is 71. Which is way stronger than Rock Throw. Eon Meal? Oh, right. I need to find Eon Meal for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Maybe someday. Is this like the first precursor to the quest they introduced in uh, Sun and Moon? Maybe. Like, I know there's definitely some stuff you have to find some Harbor Mail in uh, Hoenn, but I'm unsure. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, I'm thinking, who else? Do we need to set anything up? I don't think we know anyone who has anything that can set up at this point. Nope. Unless you want to set up Curse, that would be the only thing that would make sense. Which might not be the worst idea. Problem mm -hmm. with this strategy would be exceedingly low defense stat. Yes. And a rollout th could kill. You think one rollout could kill? Ghastly? Yeah. yeah. Really? Huh. So, in order to switch in, we need to sacrifice a turn because it's set. Mm -hmm. And then Mill Tank might very well be faster than two Spoopy. Yeah, and Mill Tank's pretty fast. So getting it up to two rollouts, assuming, mm -hmm. I wouldn't trust Ghastly to survive. Yeah, and also the curse with taking off half its health. Yeah, no, that would be sacrificing two Spoopy, and this is this gym isn't worth that. Yep. So I say we send in Cinders first okay. and try to do as much as we can. Um, once the Miltite comes out, though, Cinder's mm -hmm. is getting the fuck out of there. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone's into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Oh, you hipster. <laughs> Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you. I'm good. In bed. <laughs> Alright, Whitney. Bring it on. <laughs> That's cute. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna burn your face off. Could get a smoke screen or two down. You could. That would actually be not a bad idea. I just thought of that. That might be really smart. Oh no, I'm getting bitch slapped. <laughs> yeah, taking one rollout would be doable, I think. Yeah. Mm, cinders, though? Yeah, Cinders. Mm, mm, wait, let's mm. check. Let me see what the base power of rollout starts out at. It's at 30. It starts out at 30? Yeah. yeah. Defense of 33. Over 50 HP. Yeah, I don't know if I don't, know about I don't think one. it's worth risking Cinders. Yeah, I don't think Not so. for like a 5% drop in uh, no, accuracy. It, it, yeah, it's, it's a really Because it's low already drop. a 90% accuracy move. Yeah. I don't think that's a super Jesus. great thing. Damn. This Clefairy has got itch moves. Mm hmm. Alright. You're going to burn. I was actually saying you might want to swap out since it might have died from its burn that turn. Uh, maybe, but whatever. Yeah. Geodude can take it. Mm hmm. All right, here it comes. Moment of truth. Oh god, that giggle is freaking me out. Okay. So it's almost for sure going to use Rollout. Yes. Because of Cinders. Yeah. Okay, Stoner Bro. Yeah, it's locked in for now until it misses. Okay. Okay, so two damage base. It'll do four mm -hmm. next turn unless something weird happens. Yep. Ha! <laughs> Magnitude it's seven. Amazing. That's not bad for a start, yep. but... Depending on how much we can do. Okay, oh, it's probably going to use Milk Drank a bunch of times. No, it's locked into rollouts. Okay. Well, no, actually it wasn't, but you used rollout again. That was just its again. first rollout. Yep. So it's back at a 30, so it'll be 4 damage next turn. Mm-hmm. Or maximum of 8. Let's just assume it mm -hmm. will always crit. Yes. Look at this shit! It keeps missing! Mm-hmm. Is this going to be the easiest? Uh, no, 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 not jinxing no, it. Not jinxing no. it. Not jinxing it. There is the Milk Drink. Blah, 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 blah. What's it doing? Is it like squirting its own utter in its I'm face? assuming so, because what else would it be? Glug, glug, glug. Magnitude 8. Good thing this thing has a shit ton of PP. Mm-hmm. That's it's another way 30. magnitude is actually a decent move. Oh, we might actually... Might have found your way around. Magnitude 8. Oh, I think we just... No, I think it's don't, a don't little life. Don't jinx it, don't jinx it. Oh, God, fuck! Just a little bit. <laughs> if we can get a 10, it might kill it. No, it's locked into rollout. Yep. That did five damage. Okay, we can't trust it, but we still can't be killed this next turn. Wait, yes! we killed it! We killed Whitney! Yes! yes! Oh my god, that was easy! 
I knew t I knew Stoner Bro would see me through it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Stoner Bro. You are the chillest chill dude in Johto, and you have just defeated the the what sob? Or did she just say sob? <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! Why? You mean that makes more sense? <laughs> you shouldn't be so serious, you you child. You. This is when she becomes the Joker. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I got a shit ton of money. Ah, ah, hey, you meanie! You're a gym leader! <laughs> oh no, you made Whitney cry! It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Who gave this woman a gym? Ah, <laughs> oh, she's she's got a badass mill tank. Like, but like, aren't you like chosen for this? I mean, like, I would imagine that her parents would have to be rich or something because who listens to... I lost a, a battle. That's the point of you as a gym leader. You won? Great. I was busy admiring the ladies. Oh, you piece of... Oh. She is known as the incredible pretty girl. So... Wait, wait, wait. I laughed and she didn't follow me. Yeah. I think you have to travel around a bit. Ehehe. <laughs> what a creep. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bike. <laughs> I deserve it. Yes. Let's uh, heal up, though. Time to put... Um, Wow, that, I, I way over-psyched myself out for uh -huh. that fight. It could have gone a lot worse, though. It definitely could have. If it have. hadn't missed, like, every turn. If it had gone for a tract, things could have gone way worse. Yeah, but it wanted to do damage, I guess. Mm -hmm. But shit. And no splinchings from Stomp. That's often another one that's really devastating. Oh, yeah, that could, but it wouldn't have used that against... It's ineffective. I, yep. um, we're gonna put Egg McMuffin in. Which is probably why... Oh, this probably has, like, Generation 1 things that even if it's a passive move, mm -hmm. but if it's not going to be super effective, if it's going to be not very effective, it probably doesn't use it. So we probably got right, to retract yeah. that way. Well, we've got our egg back, and it's going to hatch soon now that we have a bike. Mm -hmm. Or, hopefully, if God's will, we will have a bike. <laughs> this is the place, I believe. All right, let's look at the bike. It's a shiny new bicycle. Oh, you can't even look at the toolbox, damn it. Why do they just have the tools on the floor? That's not it's very a, safe. It's a bike repair shop. <sighs> I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? It's because you're in a very isolated part of town. I completely missed you the first time I was exploring. <laughs> Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Yes. Really? Free. Give me your name and phone number. That's okay. And I'll loan you my bicycle. And I'll never give it back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my phone number is uh, five 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 five, mm -hmm. and that's one number too many. My bicycles are first rate. You can ride them anywhere. Well, that's great. Yeah, it's strange because he just has tools lying all around the floor. Like you have to clean up to make people want to come. Wait, how do I set it to? Uh, is there no way to register at this point in the game? Select. Ah, yes. Okay, cool. Yes! Okay, we can actually move now. Mm-hmm. I wonder if I have to, like, leave the city. Yeah, you probably do. And then she would probably, like, track you down or something. Or... Uh, no. Maybe? Um, what? I guess I have to go back into the gym. Maybe? I'm gonna try that. Okay. Uh... You don't need to look it up. I got this. I'm pretty sure this is what happens. I don't remember. I never played through this. <laughs> The gym music is so much fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? What do you want? The badge? Oh, right, I forgot. Here's plain badge. It's plain. You might almost say it's basic. Because she's a basic bitch. Plain badge lets your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. It also boosts your Pokemon speed. Oh, I forgot that the badges do that mm -hmm. in this gen. Yep, and in Hoenn, too. What does it... Is it like a 5% boost or something? I honestly don't know. Is it like a passive boost, or does it increase the stats every level? I'm... I want to look that up. Oh, you can have this, too. TM45, which is rollout, probably. Oh, rollout could be really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's a tract. Looks full use of a Pokemon's charm. Mm -hmm. Isn't it just perfect for a cutie like me? Uh, yeah, she's definitely from a very wealthy family. <laughs> yeah, in Generations 1 and 2, the stats for stats are increased by 12.5%. That's such a random number! That is. In Generation 3, it was 10%. It's a 1-8 boost. Mm-hmm. 
that's a pretty pretty good boost. That's not terrible though. Oh, uh, let's see. Who do we want in front? Too spoopy. So the next time is Ghost. Mm -hmm. I was thinking we could probably use Too Spooky for that. The only problem is if they know a lot of ghost moves. It could be really problematic. I don't think they do. Maybe Lick, but... I don't know. Oh, it's gonna know Shadow Ball. Maybe? That'd, that'd be a very Ooh. strong move for this point of game. I'll use a normal type. That's yes, gonna be that could be good. Then I'll teach it a different move using Do you TM. have any normal types besides Rick Tick Tabby? Yeah, I have um, to Togepi. Togepi, that's right. Egg, egg McMuffin. Mm -hmm. Strange trees blocking the road. It wriggles around if you talk to it. I heard it became wild when someone watered it with a squirt bottle, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I can just see a guy doing I wonder how many kinds of Pokemon there are in the world. Three years ago, Professor Oak said that there were 150 oh. different kinds. Hi. Uh, some of the Pokemon know Shadow Ball in this next gym. Yeah, the Gengars. <clears throat> oh, the Gengar, yeah. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Yeah, no, um, we're not even going to use Too Spoopy. I don't yeah, think. no, that's... I don't think Too Spoopy's worth it at this point. No. Excuse me, kid, can you do a guy a favor? Can you take this Pokemon with mail to my friend? He's on Route 31. Is that the Eon mail, maybe? I can't carry no... What? I can't... Okay, I apparently have to carry this Pokemon for this guy. And Route 31, that's in the other direction. Yep. But I have to go in a circle anyway. Mm -hmm. Why am I healing? No, I don't need to. No. Oh, I like the little knob they added. That's cute. So, we can do... Okay, here's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. I want to run in circles until I hatch this motherfucking egg and mm -hmm. see what it is. Because I have no idea. I have a feeling it might be Slugma, mm -hmm. but it might not be. For this next gym, there's going to be, if you have a normal type Pokemon and you don't get put to sleep, it's almost impossible for most of them to do damage to you. Ooh, okay, Toga Egg McMuffin, you've found your purpose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only thing oh. you'd have to worry about is Curse and Mimic. If I switch out, it goes away, right? Mm -hmm. That is good. Yep. I've got other Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I've got other Pokemon with normal type now. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna just keep doing this. Why don't you bring up uh, what any other Poke com conversations we could have while we're trying to hatch this baby? Mm -hmm. Let's make a baby. Why do some Pokemon evolve early for some trainers, but never for you? Oh, I answered that question um, because I think uh, certain trainers don't use the full power of their Pokemon. The level is oh, actually right. arbitrary. Like the level nine Pidgeotto in the first mm -hmm. gym was actually just the gym leader being like, yeah, you're a newbie, so I'm not going to make Fujiota use his full power. That's mm -hmm. what I think. It doesn't explain why the rival would not mm -hmm. use his full power with, like, Raticate, for example. Yeah. So it's not a perfect theory. Yeah. But maybe Blue just generally thinks you're weaker than you are. Fair. <laughs> He's like, huh, I'm going to beat you with one hand tied behind my back. Oh, mm -hmm. God, why? <laughs> How do people get, like, level 25 Magikarps listen to listening to them when they haven't beaten a gym yet? Do we know they haven't beaten a gym yet? Well, I would assume that if you have a Magikarp that only knows Tackle, I don't think you'd have a good chance of beating a Rock Gym. Maybe they have a bunch of other Pokemon that they aren't training right now. Fair, I can see that. I could see that. Because we know, we already considered the theory that maybe all these trainers in, are using some of their Pokemon mm -hmm. instead of all of them. Unless it's one of those fishermen with six level five Magikarps. <laughs> That's true. That's when I'm really concerned. Yep. I wonder how many po how many trainers just like a certain type of Pokemon oh. only use Oh, it's, it's the bike shop. Oh, God. Ice, Rossi, our bicycle sales. Oh, wrong button. They've gone through the roof. Wow, that was quick. We wrote all your advertising. We're riding around on bicycles. It's our way of saying thanks. Please keep that bicycle. Well, shit. I have a free bike. I was hoping they were going to get this money. <laughs> right? I was like, oh, yeah, here's a million Poké Dollars. That's how much those... Didn't they sell for five million Poké Dollars in the first game? It, it was something absurd. Yeah, I was like, you can't have this much money in your inventory. Do the music you... for Golden Round is so not right. Do you think a Pokémon could ever escape from a Pokéball without having uh, a trainer do it for them? Emergency release latch. That's, mm -hmm. that's kind of a fandom thing. Um, it's not clear, because we never really see Pokeballs abandoned by trainers except for one, and that's the GS Ball. Mm -hmm. And that one's actually like some kind of weird artifact with supposedly Celebi in it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that's that's the only example we can think of, right? Yeah, fair. Um, 
I'd assume there would be an emergency release valve, assuming that mm -hmm. being in a Pokeball for, is not a permanent thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you can charge up the Pokeballs at the Pokemon centers. Mm -hmm. What if it runs out of batteries? Yeah, that wouldn't be good, would it? That's where Missing No comes from. <laughs> That's the best fan theory. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, it seems really odd in the Pokemon world that almost everyone is just super nice to you. Do you think it's because you're a 10 year old? I would say so. You're just a kid wandering around and people are like, this person has little monsters in their pocket that could rip my face off. I should be nice to them. It's kind of like the way Second Amendment boosters think about how society works in the US, right? It's this really sick idea that if everyone has deadly force in their pockets, mm -hmm. then everyone, everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. Oh god, think of how serial killing is so easy in the Pokemon world. It really is. And it's like, there's so many things that could be so incredibly deadly. Mass killings with Mewtwo. Mm -hmm. Or just like, imagine you have all these places that are powered by electricity. Yeah. You could have like someone go to like a nuclear power plant, cut out that, and then suddenly... Sort of like the Magnemite episode in mm -hmm. season one? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, they were talking about how people are going to die in the hospital and stuff with mm -hmm. the don't restore power. Yep. Shit, that was da that was dark. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, why is this taking so long? Ah, <gasps> yes! I speak of the devil, right? Come on. Come on, Mew, Mew, Mew! <laughs> oh, it's a Magby! That's pretty good! I already have Colava. You do. Backup fire type. Yes. So you, this could be really, really good for us in the long term. And look, it's a girl. It's our beautiful <laughs> daughter, River. Aww. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I know what I'm going to name him. <laughs> That's because of what, he evol what she evolves into. She's yeah. Butthead. Yeah. Good girl, Butthead. Oh, Magmar. Let's see her stats. Level 5. Starts with Ember and Dizzy Punch. That's not Doesn't bad. Dizzy Punch do recoil or leaves you confused? Leaves you leaves them confused. Has really good stats, actually. Yeah, I mean, its attack and special attack are the same for right now. That's and speed bad. is its top stat. That's not bad. All right. That is a great backup fire type in case something mm -hmm. horrible happens to Cinders. <laughs> I hope I didn't just jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're going to go back on the PC... And Egg McMuffin will rejoin our intrepid team. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think we should um, put away Too Spoopy, too. Yeah. I don't foresee Too Spoopy being useful until maybe the next area. And Yeah. Oh, so I'm going to withdraw Egg McMuffin. Go get that Pokemon from that other guy and do that quest. How's that mm -hmm. sound? That sounds like a good idea. Figure out what the hell's going on. It's isn't the time to use that. Uh, Muffin, you're gonna go on the front of the part. That was the wrong button. <laughs> there we go. Teeth is the currently the only Pokemon with an item, and that is the Miracle Seed. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna go grab that Pokemon from that weirdo. Yeah, sure, we'll take your Pokemon. Never comes back. I'm seriously interested in knowing whether you can just keep this Pokemon. Do you think there's like an Elite Four customer service where you can complain about gym leaders being shitty? With like Whitney? That would be fun. About 31. So let's see this Pokemon. Kenya? Oh, it's a shitty Spearow. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> I wonder, can you read the mail? I would assume so. Dark cave leads to another road. Ooh, that's a secret hint. Mm-hmm. It's funny because we already knew that. Yep. But we can't use it until serve. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on. I'm going to check the town map. Oh, wait, that's on the po Poke Gear, duh. Yep. Route 31 is clear back there. What the? It's not cooperating, is it? Yeah, it's back there. So we're going to have to go past the other thing first. Yeah, if you went past the pseudo room. Yeah. 
All right, so just making sure Eggly Puffin is in front. And we will go ahead and do that next time on Sarasi Plays Pokemon Crystal Nutslock.